Create a new product in my Shopify named Homemade Gourmet Marshmallows. Um, make a six pack variant for $24 and add a hundred items of inventory. Okay, it created the product. Um, after doing a whole bunch of stuff, because it's learning, it's acting as a developer who doesn't really know how to use Shopify, so it's learning from Shopify's GraphQL API. Um, and then let's take a look at our product here. Did it create it? Yep, it created the product. Um, it came up with its own description. Uh, and it did add the pricing, $24. Let's uh, add an image here. Can you generate an appropriate image for the marshmallows? Okay, it did it. Let's take a look. Refresh the page. And we have a product image. How about that? Let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's create a new variant. Can you create another variant, nine items for $32? Okay, it did it. Let's take a look. And we have a six pack and we have a nine pack, $24 and $32. Inventory is there. Um, let's take a look to see how it looks on our store. Showing up here, homemade gourmet marshmallows. Let's give it a discount. Can you create a one day sale for today only on April 21st? So people who visit this page to buy the marshmallows get a 20% discount automatically. Okay, so let's see if we get that discount. Yep, here we go. One day sale, marshmallow sale, April 21st. Great, and then how was that created in the discounts? Discounts, created a one day sale here. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So let's test another thing. Send a gift order to Gordon Ramsay, 123 Main Street, New York, New York, 10028. Yeah. Looks like it did it. Let's take a look. The order there. Yes, it's sent to the Gordon Ramsay, shipped it, six pack. Wonderful. Let's test one more thing. Um, let's create a discount code for Gordon Ramsay named Gordon, 15% off for his audience. Okay, it did it, let's take a look. Discount, yeah. Gordon Ramsay audience discount, 15% off, named Gordon. Okay, let's test another thing.
can you create a refund for the last order from Marcus Johnson? Okay, let's check. Marcus Johnson and this has been refunded by our MCP app. Great. Let's do some analytics. Can you tell me our aggregated sales in our Shopify store last week? Can you find our biggest spender and send them a Marshmallows gift package, the nine pack? Can you mark that as shipped as well? Okay, let's take a look at our orders. Refresh this page and found our biggest spender and sent them a gift. Isn't that nice? So this is Agentic Shopify admin via MCP. Learns how to interact with Shopify store using Shopify's GraphQL uh, documentation, MCP, that Shopify made available and uh, uses our a.gentic co MCP server to actually run these Shopify GraphQL queries and uh, does all kinds of things in our Shopify store directly from within Claude using voice commands. <laughs>